What's up, everybody? So we're back. We're gonna be uh, attempting some of the harder enemies now. This is gonna be fun. A lot of the game is just kind of running away from zombies and not really fighting anybody of substance, but... You know, now, now we're getting into the nitty-gritty here. We're gonna actually fight some guys that can pack a punch, so... This is, this is when the game gets fun. These are the moments that are like, oh, this game, oh, perfect. Awesome. I mean, what I'm saying right now is basically I enjoy a challenge. And that's like pretty much how the Dark Souls series survived as like a, as like a, just a game genre it's almost turned into now. The games are straight up just called Souls-like now. So, those games are just extremely punishing. Anything you do wrong, they come after you. Like, they hammer you super hard. But the, the thing... Oh! Oh, man. I cannot believe they just put him there. Well, this is what we do to people that piss me off. Oh, this is a terrible camera angle. Can't seem to save my life. Let's go, baby. What you got? Oh, you're not gonna give me the headshot? Are you kidding me? I just wasted two shotgun shells and a dagger on him. That was terrible. So the headshot chance goes up exponentially if you aim up towards the guy's face. I must have just mistimed it. Not good. That's all right. Like I said before, usually when I play these uh, games, I just beat them so badly that it's like not even fun towards the end. So if I uh, if I leave that guy there and don't burn him, and he comes back as a crimson head, I don't really care. Ooh, Miss Lippy. Okay, so I know that was a little uneventful. You actually don't need to fight the snake. It's actually better not to fight the snake because you save a ton of bullets. And if you uh, kill the snake, uh, it actually doesn't benefit you as much as you would think. So this guy's still right here. We got all four masks, though. Yeah, we got all four masks. We can definitely do this. I'm pretty sure if I head down to the other direction, the staircase that was literally adjacent to the room I was just in, that the door, because of the guy, they made a comment, hey, this door's about to break. Um... I think in the girl's file, Barry fixes the door. I don't think Wesker fixes the door for you. Could be wrong. Could be wasting her time right now. But I'm nearly positive that Wesker does not fix the door. And we have to go the opposite direction. So far, just on a convenience factor, I think I like Jill's file a lot more. But Chris just feels like... Oh, we're just going to inconvenience you, but not really make the file that much harder. But we're going to inconvenience you a lot. Okay. So... <laughs> I forgot they make you do this. They do not give you enough slots as Chris to go into this with a healing item. 
I've never died to one of these before. I don't suspect I'm going to now. Unless if I get hit by a zombie on the way over, and then I'm going to be like, oh man. I'm going to be rolling the dice on this one. I'd like to speed this up. Okay, let's rock. Oh, look at this. No one's here. So there's shotgun shells behind the zombie back there in the grave, but you can't see them until the zombie's gone. I think the despawning of enemies based on your progression in the game is something that they... They probably should have just increased the amount of bullets they give you and increased the kerosene usage and not gotten rid of zombies or enemies that could have been together. This guy looks like he has no mouth. These guys both look like they have no mouth. No nose either. What you got, baby? What you got? What you got? Nothing. Let's go. Is he dead? I think he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Stabbed him in the head. I guess the daggers do a ton of damage. Is this more shotgun shells too? Yeah, nice. Alright, we're we're starting to stack up the bullets here. Not just any object. I actually didn't know those zombies grabbed you. I thought that zombie was going to slash me the whole time, so I was a little worried when he didn't get staggered enough, because I thought he was going to start ripping me up with his claws. Uh, let me think real quick. We might be able to just roll the dice right now. Let's just roll the dice right now much more fun. You guys are watching. Oh, it's better than me playing every single thing safe. It gets boring. I didn't check to see if one of those guys was still there. Because I only burnt them one. I only burnt one body, but it was like a double. 
terrible spot. Oh my lord! <laughs> Is he dead? I think his face just blew off because of the grenade. I'm getting low on those, though. I'm gonna start just actually getting hit. That's alright. I think I have, like, seven full heals. Okay, so that whole mask equation was literally to just put the stone metal object into that position, allowing us to escape the mansion and then head to the outskirts of the property. So that's where we're at right now. We're on the outskirts of the property. And a full health here. Oh, and another flash grenade. You know, you'd think for playing on hard, they would, they would limit these a little bit. Um, I actually don't remember the best way to go. I think you go low. I kind of have like a rule of thumb when I play these survival horror games, and it's whatever direction looks scarier, you go that way first. Because I feel like the people that create these games are like, oh, well, he definitely doesn't want to go this way. That way looks crazy. So you just, it seems like that's just the way you always end up going. Okay, so I may have to fast forward through this part. This part confuses me sometimes and takes forever. So I think, I think the top one needs to be fully reversed. I think they need to point out. And again, we're going to get rid of the weapon because I think it just makes you move slower. So this would just be 180 degrees the opposite direction. So we're going west here. Let's go. Actually, I don't think we need this at all anymore. freaky with her. Get real freaky. What does it want me to do right now? Oh! Oh my lord. Oh, 
Okay, I'm actually decently nervous right now. I mean, that's why you guys got me on the screen, so you can look at my actions. Well, they told me on the radio not to go, uh... Not to go in the woods, man. Didn't listen. Suck a free Sunday, I. Oh! I'm probably on, like, life support right now, too. This girl hurts super bad when you get hit. Yeah, what am I on? If I'm, like, banged up... Yeah, okay. Alright, well, caution... You don't die from caution, but you can get messed up. There's only one enemy in the game that can kill you from caution, and that's a hunter, and we're not there yet. <laughs> Yo, really? Okay. <coughs> A little bit of leg work here. I will most certainly take the Magnum. Because of the Resident Evil franchise, I think the Magnum is my favorite gun. Pretty much of all time. How could you not love a Magnum? Just a pistol that shoots so freaking hard it blows a hole in you. Rockin' Clint Eastwood style. Right, we're starting to pick up some steam here. This has been a good run. We're really just hammering this right now. But this is a big room. Because I haven't really been stopping and healing, and I've been playing a bit aggressively. We're, we're making strides pretty fast, but at the same time, we're, we're risking a little bit. Alpha team, come in. Does anybody hear me? This is Chris. This is Brad. Oh, Stars some Alpha healing team. items right next to me. Bravo okay, team. that makes it not as big Respond. of a deal. I repeat, this is Br Brad. This is Chris. Brad. Damn, this thing's broken. Pick it up. Pick it up. Oh, perfect. Let's go. They couldn't have gone any better, honestly. Oh, that could have gone better. Oh, 
Come on. Oh, he's getting a good bite on me. Oh, man. That got insane. Alright. Well, that's why I ran up and grabbed the green herb. Because if I didn't do that, I might have died right there. So when I saw that, I was like, alright, let's go. And I don't think I'm grabbing two more items at this point. Not where I'm going. And this is actually right here, leading into my favorite part of the entire game. Yeah, we don't need this at all. So I think if you play the GameCube version, I'm not 100% positive, but that it kind of looks like they made the moonlight glow a little too hard off of the uh, metal object. It's like, first off, you, no one was polishing that metal object. But I think they did that where they made that piece right there glow a little more from that specific camera angle. So people knew to look at that like, hey, this is an object of interest. So I'm wondering how many people got stuck at this part not knowing what to do once they got the correct item. That camera angle to start off. I don't think you can combine just blue and red actually. It doesn't work. You need the green. The green's the glue. So we're in my uh, favorite part of the entire game right now. We're in the, I believe it's called the residence. Yeah, the residence is kind of like where your friends would stay if you had a mansion. You'd be like, nah, my mansion, it's 40,000 square feet, but you, you got the residence, dude. You got the residence. You'd be like, what? Are you kidding me? All right. So I'm going to, I think that's a good place to stop right here. We just got to the residence. I'm going to tidy up and take care of everything moving forward. And then, uh, yeah, we're, we're chugging along. I mean, I'd say we're about 50% way through here. So we're just going to keep doing this.